So we set off for the Trollstegen, and determined to prove our car's practical credentials, soon we came across the perfect place for some in-depth testing. Baby. Now, you might be asking, why do you need this kind of pace in a family estate car? Think about it, be practical. B&Q car park fills up quickly. You've got to get in there, got to grab that space. That's why you need Panamera. I'm telling you, this is the way to drop the kids off at school. No need to park up, just kick it into a drift open the passenger door, and the kids could just jump, tuck, and roll. See? Practical. <laughs> this four-wheel drive system is fantastic, because what I want traction, the front axle comes with me, and the moment I want to slide it around, there's a little German brain in there that says, yes, we will let you oversteer now. <laughs> Now, the GTC4 actually has two gearboxes, one for the front axle and one for the rear, which means it can send power to whichever one can use it best. You don't get that in a Skoda Superb. If you'd said to me 15 years ago I'd be sliding a large Porsche estate car around, I wouldn't believe they'd ever built such a thing. It's got a pretty good balance to it. I mean, it is a big car, but the motor is just... That was a sideways LeBlanc, and then a spinning LeBlanc. <laughs> well, she got away from me a little bit. <laughs> but then I discovered this playground came with a very unique feature. Hey, Chris, take a look at this. That looks quite dangerous. Yeah, get it wrong here, and you are getting wet which gave me an idea for an even better practical test. OK, top speed challenge. Fast as you can get before you have to hit the brakes. Loser is the one who goes slowest or ends up in the sea and drowns. Ready? Can I just point out, this is very unfair. My top speed, 190 miles an hour. Your top speed, 208 miles an hour. Yeah, I'll go first. You, uh, you keep an eye out for planes. There's a hundred. There's a hundred and thirty. <laughs> 177 to beat. Time for the Pananarama Ding Dong. Oh, Lord, control that fierce. I've got a bit of a secret weapon here. I've got 20 seconds of overboost in sport response mode. We're still hauling, we're still hauling. 160. 65. I wouldn't want to be much further on than that. How fast did you go? First of all, I definitely brake later than you. That wasn't the challenge. How fast did you go? I think I did 165 miles an hour. OK, that's good. Come on! 177. 177! Yeah. And you break like a right wuss as well! I did, yeah. You know, if you weren't so particular about drowning, you could have won that. I still break later than you. You did break later than me. Break later than you. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs>